loves the red nose reindeer. Had a very short Hi guys, welcome to the last video of Vlogmas. So grab your cup of coffee and we're gonna talk about what to do after the holidays so that we can get back to your routine and start making progress towards your goals. You know, New Year's resolutions are great things to have because it's just everybody feels really good in the new year and they're ready to start working towards something, but why not start that process now and rather than be New Year's resolutions, make them goals so that way you can, excuse me, work toward them throughout the entire year and make progress. So really, what do you need to do after the holidays? I think a lot of people go through after the holidays and they really start stressing about everything that occurred um, in a negative light versus the positive light. So they worry about what they ate, what they did, what they didn't do, rather than actually focusing on the times that they had during those times. So did you spend time with family? How did that make you feel? Did you have good conversations? Did you have good foods? Did that, all those things feed your soul? Did that make you feel good on the inside so that way you can work on everything else that you want to do in your life, okay? What's been done is done now. There's no point in stressing on it. So all you can do now is move forward, okay? And then look at a positive life and look how it impacted you in a positive way because we can't change how it worked. So you might as well look at it positively. So first step for recovering after the holidays or just getting back on track in general, whether you felt like you did good or bad, is to stop focusing on what's already occurred and then focus on you know, you're putting yourself in a positive mental state and keep moving forward. I have learned in the time that I've worked on myself and my family and my coaching, my clients, is that if we don't start with the mindset, nothing else is going to occur. So it's really important that you focus on your mindset and the thoughts that you're telling yourself. And if you don't try to turn those around and tell your things positive Tell yourself positive things, it's going to eat you alive and you're not gonna be able to accomplish your goals. So focus on how you can re-gear what you tell yourself. Because if you wouldn't tell those things to your best friend or to your mother or your sister or anybody else in your family or in your inner circle, why would you tell those things to yourself? So focus on your mental state. Um, by the way, if you need more work on that, I'm gonna have a um, mini course coming out very, very shortly at, right after the new year that you can do and it's completely free. That's gonna have more information about how to work on that self-talk. Okay, the next thing that you need to do is immediately go back to your routine. Um, you know, once you get done with the holidays or if you're done visiting family, start going back to your routine, start waking up at normal time, start doing the things that you need to do, go back to working out. Go back to things that are going to make you feel good and normal so that way you can kind of get reset your body and go back to what you, you want to do. So I know for me when I'm out of my home, um, I don't eat like I normally do. I don't drink the amount of water that I normally do. I'm not nearly as active a lot of the time. So it's important for me to go back to a normal routine as soon as possible. Um, one thing I've never changes no matter where I'm at is how much coffee I drink, which is here. So go back to your routine as soon as possible okay number three eat nutritious foods that make you feel good so after we've had all these holiday foods that really feed our soul and probably make our bodies feel good it's important to go back to eating whole nutritious foods that make us feel good inside and out it's important to have all those foods that we have during the holidays the cookies the wines the whatever the case that may be but it's also important to go back and Feel your body and make yourself feel good on the inside out because if you feel good on the inside, you're going to feel good on the outside. Okay, the next thing. After all this time with your family and everything, it's important for you to schedule some me time. I have notes down here. That's why I keep looking down. It's so important for you to schedule some me time so that way you can go ahead and start taking time for yourself after you've had all this time to get together. So, and my husband is outside the window of the house bothering me. Okay. Anywho, so, me time. So, you've had everybody in your house or you've been in everybody else's house. So, now it's time to take some alone time so that way you can kind of get back to your normal routine and take care of yourself. If I haven't said enough, get back to your normal routine because after you've had so much time with everybody else, it's time to be able to hear your own thoughts and what you want to do and want you to continue to work on. And also, you can't do that if you don't have some time to work on yourself. So schedule in some me time and make that a point. Last but not least, definitely get more active. Go for a walk. Play with your dogs. Go to the gym. Play with all the new toys that your kids have or toys that you got for yourself. 
go out and be active. That's gonna, that way you can use all that fuel that you've had into your body from all the holiday meals and use it to your advantage and just get active and that'll make your body feel so good. It's sometimes it's really, really hard just to get going, but once you get going, it's so much easier. Um, something I read a long time ago is once, once uh, something is in motion, it's easier to stay in motion. So just getting started is the hardest part. Once you get started, it's a lot easier to stay in motion. Okay, the last thing I just want to share with you guys about getting back after it after the holidays or any event is take it one day at a time. We are human beings, we are not perfect, but what we can do is one day at a time, one moment at a time, is focus on that decision and that decision alone on making ourselves better and working toward the goal that we want. So for me, it's important for me to take it one day at a time and really think about how what I want to accomplish today. What do I want to have in this meal that my body is craving? What can, it, can I do to make myself feel good? Can it be active? Whatever the case may be. So if I take it one step at a time, one day at a time, one moment at a time, I'm gonna have greater success over the long run versus taking it as one big elephant to take one bite of the elephant or whatever the big giant item is for you at a time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have several videos planned for you for um, the end of the year and January, and I would love for you to come back and join me for those. So I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye. Nobody knows, and if you ever saw You're good? Okay. You gotta tell me, dear. Is it? Well, I don't know what it means. Go. Okay. What the heck is on my feet? Okay, here we go. I'm struggling today, okay? Fine. Anywho. And you're gone. Oh, did you already trim it? Yep, there you go. What mother of pearl, you just make this so difficult. Alright, ready? You wouldn't say it, Chloe.